friends, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and this is one of my absolute favorite videos of the year. And this is my 2020 favorites, my makeup favorites. And this is the second video of my faves. The first one was face products and I'll link that below if you haven't seen that. I have some wonderful face products. But this one is eye and lip products. I had a lot of them so I had to separate my favorites down into two videos. I've really been experimenting a lot in the past year with a lot of different makeup products and I have found some fabulous favorites. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things that help us look and feel our best at 50 plus, I am 63, then I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and or give this video a thumbs up. I hope you'll do both. Would love to have you as a member of the 50 plus beauty family. And also if you give this video a thumbs up and or share it with a friend, that would be great. Okay, let's get down to this. I have a lot to go through. The first is eyeshadow products. And I saw that Emily Noel put this palette in her faves and it was so funny because I have this product as one of my faves. And what these are, they are the Profusion Beauty eyeshadow palettes. They are 10 eyeshadow palettes. They are a fabulous deal. I think they are $5. $5 for all of these shadows. This is crazy. And I preferred the smoky over the bare because I'm a little more of a smoky girl. I like to smoke things out. I like eyeshadow to look just a little shimmery, a little bit glam. And I won't go into this one because it is not one of my faves. I think it's a good palette though, especially if you like kind of neutral colors. Those are very, very neutral colors, very natural looking colors. But if you're a little more glammy like me, you would probably prefer the smoky palette. And this is the one I've been getting a lot of use out of. And there it is. And I like it because while it does have a lot of neutral colors, it also has some more glammy colors. I love this black. This makes a great eyeliner. I love this kind of burgundy color. Look at the pigment on that color. These are amazing shadows. At any price, these are amazing shadows. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. And I love this little one as an eyelid color. Of course, I do like a little shimmer on my eyelids. Oh my, I think I want to add a little more. I shouldn't do that. But anyway, I'm, I start out these videos and it's like you're my girlfriends and I'm just kind of showing you stuff. So anyway, look how it just gave that little extra bit of gleam to my eyelids. Love this Smoky Perfusion palette. You cannot beat this for the price, for sure. Actually, at any price, it's a fabulous palette. Okay, I've gotten quite a few high-end palettes recently. You should see all of the palettes that I bought from Sephora during the sale. But I have two high-end palettes that I absolutely love. The first is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam 2 palette. And for some reason, I like this little palette a lot better than I like their full-size version. And it is a lot cheaper, which I also like that. But I particularly like this shimmer color as a lid color. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful. And then this brown here is a fantastic crease color and it's very neutral, very natural. It would go on just about any person out there. And then I like this one for a brow color and look how pigmented that is. And if you want something a little dramatic out in the corner, this little burgundy color is wonderful. Look at the pigment in that color. It is crazy. And what I found is that if you use this, a little bit of this dark color in the outer corner, then above the brown crease, add a little bit of this dusty rose color just to accent it. That's really pretty. Or you can use this little orangey color to do a little halo, a little warm halo accent. This is an absolutely beautiful palette. Anastasia Beverly Hills shadows are super highly pigmented, yet they are blendable and they don't kick up a lot of fallout. However, tip here, I have started to do my eyes first before I do my foundation because invariably, no matter how good the shadow is, you're going to get a little fallout or some mascara that goes where it shouldn't under your eyes. And so I always do my eyes first and then use a little bit of a makeup wipe underneath. Now, if you have followed my channel this year, you absolutely know how much I love this palette. This is the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. And this is actually the second one that I've had. And I'm hitting pan again on the second version, which kills me because it's expensive. It's like $65. And I am vowing that I'm going to start using more of the colors in this palette. But I use this one for a lid color. Absolutely beautiful. I kind of mix it with this little color. Really, really pretty shimmer. This is a beautiful neutral brown that pretty much anybody can wear. This is a great under the eyelid color. And if you want to get dramatic, you can start adding a little bit of like this gold shimmer on the center of your lids. Isn't that just beautiful? And if you like the roses, 
you can do this rose shimmer there. And oh, look at that, absolutely gorgeous. In fact, I'm getting excited just looking at it because it makes me want to veer off into some of the colors I haven't used. If you have not tried Natasha Denona shadows, you are really missing out. In fact, I never felt like I was that good with eye makeup until I hit the Natasha Denona shadows because they are so blendable, they are so buttery, they are so just beautifully pigmented, they are wonderful. I absolutely love them and you really can't go wrong with this eyeshadow palette unless you don't like any kind of a shimmer, but even their shimmers are just nice and subtle and beautiful. Now, if your eyeshadow palette isn't giving you enough shimmer, this is one of my favorites, and it's probably been one of my favorites for three years, and I'm probably going to add it to my eyes right now. I'm gonna end up a made up mess by the end of this video, but I love this so much, and this is the second one of these I've purchased. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Color Chameleon Champagne Diamonds Highlighter. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. I will actually just show you on my eyelid. What I do is I do my makeup, and then I'll just put the smallest amount of it right in the middle. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous shimmer. And since it is a cream formula, it lasts a long, long time. Look how beautiful that looks. It just gives you kind of sparkly eyes. I think I need a little more over here. It just gives you kind of that movie star glow. You can even use it a little bit in the corner. I think this is absolutely lovely. And whenever you get done with your eye makeup and you think I'm missing something, it is usually just the slightest bit of glow, the slightest sparkle, and to me, this does it. Okay, now let's get into some brow product favorites, and I have to say I'm very brow challenged right now. I have a lot of brow makeup on because I have been going to a new brow lady, and while I like a lot of the things about it, she did tint my brows, and they were tinted darker blonde than what I do at home, and I went ahead and got a brow lamination, which is kind of like getting your eyebrows permed to stick straight up in the air. And I like it because it's making my brows look thicker. I really do like that. However, I have brow makeup on to make my eyebrows kind of a, a decent blonde color because without the makeup, the way they tinted them, they are too dark and I really have blackish eyebrows, which I don't like very well. But this, this brow makeup is, is doing the trick to kind of cover that up because I used to dye my eyebrows at home using a box Revlon Ash Blonde color. I don't recommend that, by the way, because you have to be really careful not to get into your eyes but I don't want to use that color to light my eyebrows the way I'm used to until basically that lamination perming solution wears off because I don't want to burn my eyebrows off. Too much information, I know. But anyway, these are the products that I love. This product I have loved for a long, long time. And by the way, these are a favorite thing too. These are one of Oprah's favorite things. I have like three pairs of them. They are Peepers Readers and they're like $20, but to me, they're cooler than cool. This one is in the Blue Tortoise. I think this is the Blue Tortoise, I'm not sure, but I will link them below. I think they're fabulous, but they do help you read too. I love readers. But this is the Pure Arch Nemesis 4-in-1 Dual-Ended Brow Pencil in Light. That was a mouthful, but basically what it is, it has a little end on it, and it is the perfect blonde color. If you have blonde brows, it is very, very hard to find eyebrow pencil that looks good with blondes, and that really does. And then it also has one little end on it to where you can just draw in the little hairs that you need there. Absolutely beautiful. Then it has a little spoolie on it to kind of help you groom your brows up. And it said four in one. What is the fourth? Okay, <laughs> it said four in one, and I can only find three here, but I absolutely love this. This is a fabulous brow pencil, especially if you are blonde. Now, here is another high-end brow option, and I really like this because it is what's helping me color in my brows since I'm having this little brow issue, and this is the Marc Jacobs Brow Wow. That's what it's called, Brow Wow, and it has two ends, and the first little end is the perfect color of blonde to draw in your little hairs, and then the other part of it is a wonderful little brow mascara, and it is in blonde. I don't know if you can see that, but again, we blondes have a hard time finding colors that match us. Uh-oh, I probably should not have done that. But anyway, that kind of gives you an idea of the blonde color that is here. 
That is a little blonde brow gel. And I think this is totally wonderful because not only can you draw in like your tails, because I'm missing one of my tails, and also do a little bit of work wherever you're missing brows, I really like that brow mascara because that helps us more mature beauties color in the grays, which I do have a lot of grays. So this is a great one for that. Now let's get into a fabulous drugstore brow product. And this is absolutely fabulous. This is the Revlon Color State Brow Creator. And this is one of the best brow products I have ever found. Basically what it has, and again, it has a very believable blonde. I'm trying to see what color this is. This is in the color, oh gosh, I need the peepers again. This is in the color blonde. Well, that makes sense, the color blonde. So there is the little end there, and I'll just kind of draw that on for you. That's a look at the blonde color, and it's really, really a perfect color for almost any blonde. And I tried the taupe, and it is too dark for me. But then I really like that you can pull this next part apart, and then you just have a little brow gel there that is again in the blonde, and I'll go ahead and draw that for you there. It's a little brow powder, actually, but you can see that it's a very, very natural blonde color. Oh heck, I'll put a little on. My eyebrows are so stiff with product, it is really unbelievable but hopefully soon I can dye them back so I won't have to do so much work on them. But that one just screws on and then it has a little spoolie, whoops, the wrong end. Then it has a little spoolie, which I really appreciate. That's very convenient of them to give you a spoolie to brush the brows into place. This is a wonderful brow product and I think Emily Noel also loved it too. Okay, now I'm into eyeliners and recently I have changed the way I've been doing my eyeliner. I was using these pure on point eyeliners. This one happens to be in black, which is too harsh for me. I always use it in brown and I could not find my brown, but I particularly like this if you like eyeliners. It's one of the best ones I've ever found because you always have a totally sharp point there. And I'll show you this, again it is in black, but look at that precise little black line and this is a nice soft black so even if you mostly use brown, I think you could get away with this. I wish I could find the brown, but I still use this and I really like it. However, in an effort to make my eyes a little younger and fresher looking, I have largely changed the way I do my eyeliner most of the time. Most of the time I don't use an eyeliner. I actually just take some eyeshadow and a small eyeliner brush. In this case, I would probably use either the purple color or most likely the black and then I would just draw on an eyeshadow eyeliner because it's softer and prettier and doesn't look as harsh. So I've been really experimenting with using eyeshadows for eyeliner and I realized I had this in my stash about a month ago and it really makes that process easier to apply basically a powder liner because this is actually an eyeshadow powder stick for your eye line. And it is Charlotte Tilbury and it is called Eye Powder Pencil The Classic and I don't know what color it's in. I will put it below the video. It's just called the Classic Eye Powder Pencil. And I will say, if you're used to eyeliners that go on very smoothly, you're not going to love this. And because it takes a little bit of effort to get this on, however, what it does, which I really appreciate, it's an easy way to basically use eyeshadow as an eyeliner. I'll go ahead and put a little of it on for you right now. And this one is in kind of a brown color. And so basically you just kind of go along there, but it is depositing eyeshadow there. And you know, it doesn't go on smooth. You have to really kind of work with it a little, a little bit, but it does give you a very powdery looking, very soft looking eyeliner. And looking at it, I'm just falling in love with it all over again. It is a very easy way to get that beautiful eyeliner look, much straighter line than you can do with your eyeshadow. And I think it just is very nice on our slightly aging eyes. Okay, I'm into mascara now. And as those of you who have channel know, I love the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. I absolutely love it. It is not what I have on now, but it is a glam looking mascara. If you like glam looking, full, longer length lashes, look at that great brush. There is just something about it that just gives you that false eyelashes look or the lash extension look. In fact, it is called the Stila Huge Extreme Lash and they say it gives you the look of lash extensions and I really think that it does. And I love this, but I've had it as a fave for like three years, so I've been trying to find another fave. And so I went to Stila's second mascara called the Stila XXX Magnum, XXX Magnum Mascara. 
and it is very much like the Stila Huge Extreme Lash. However, maybe even a little more glam. Look at that incredible brush. It just gives you full, thick, lovely lashes. And it is what I have on now, and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I really can't tell you at this point if I like the Huge Extreme Lash or this better, but they're both just absolutely wonderful. Look at those glorious thick lashes. And another tip, and I got this from Dominique Sachi. I think she, I don't know if I'm pronouncing her last name right, but basically she says that as we age, we should start putting makeup more on the tops of our eyes, like to do top mascara and no bottom mascara. And so I have been doing that, and I think it really does help kind of lift the eyes just to use mascara on the top lashes. And again, I think this is a lovely glam mascara. Now, if you want a glam look for a drugstore price, this L'Oreal Lash Paradise is still phenomenal. And I think Emily Noel mentioned this yet again. She mentions it most years, ever since it's been out, because it is amazing. And this is in the color Blackest Black, which I usually get something that's black or brownish black. But anyway, this just gives you the glam look of the higher end mascaras. If you like your lashes to have huge volume and length at a drugstore price, this is a fabulous one. Now, there are two schools of thought when it comes to mascaras. Ah, where's my other mascara? Oh, there it is. Okay, there are two schools of thought when it comes to mascaras. And basically, I think every woman needs a mascara wardrobe of a glam mascara, which would be something like I'm wearing now, which really pumps up the volume and just brings on the glam look. Lovely, curled, gorgeous, long lashes, that glam look. But you also need a mascara for those days when you're just heading over to the grocery store or running errands, something like that. You've got your sweatshirt on, your jeans on, your tinnies on. You don't want to look like you've, you know, totally made up your face to look glam. You just want to look natural, but better, I guess. And I have loved this mascara ever since it came out, or at least since I've known about it, which is probably the last five years. But this is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara. And it gives you beautiful volume, but it gives you the separated look of natural eyelashes. It does not look glam. I would wear this only during the day, but if you like that look of just natural but a little better, this is a beautiful mascara. I absolutely love it. And I just found a high-end mascara, and this is actually an Allure Award winner, and I have been loving this. In fact, I never really thought that I loved the natural look in lashes until I started using this. And this is the Ilia brand mascara called Limitless Lash Mascara. Limitless Lash Mascara. And this is the travel size, but I will be purchasing the larger version. And it has the weirdest little brush ever. It's little plastic bristles. But what they do, they totally like separate every lash. And you have that look kind of like the Thrive Cosmetics mascara, which I absolutely love too. But you have that look that you have very long lashes and very separated lashes and just kind of a glammy daytime look that is just beautiful. This is going to become a mascara that I will be using a lot in 2022. It is fabulous. Okay, next let's get into one of my favorite areas, which is lip products. And I have a bunch of great favorite lip products to show you. The first is one that I never thought I would like because I think of Kylie Jenner as basically on another planet. She is in the planet of young 18-year-olds, 19-year-olds, 20-year-olds, and I would really think that most of her makeup would not work on my aging face, quite honestly. But I was in Ulta maybe a couple of months ago, and I tried this out and absolutely loved it. And it has become one of my favorites. And this is how the cute little box looks. I actually picked it up in two colors. I've got the Kylie color, which is more of a peachy color. And then I have this color called Josie, and it is wonderful. I'll go ahead and show that to you on the back of my hand. And here it is. It's a beautiful creamy formula lip color. Isn't that a beautiful, beautiful color? Love that. And it comes with this beautiful lip pencil in the color Josie as well. And I'll go ahead and put that above it so you can see how it looks. This is truly mm. one of my favorite lip combos ever. You know, I just think as we get older, a little bit of rose really helps us. I'm really not thinking the nudes do as much for us anymore as I used to. I think as we get older, the color in our face just fades out, especially the color in our lips and the color in our skin. And we really need a little bit of contrast. And that is absolutely the perfect amount for me. And if you like more of a peachy tone rather than the rosy tone, they've got you covered there too in the Kylie color. And Kylie looks fabulous in this. 
And she also has some great glosses that I wish I could pick up. In fact, I think I will do that because her glosses look absolutely beautiful. But there is the peachier version in the Kylie Lip product. And what is this called? Oh gosh, I need my glasses again, need my readers. This is called, oh, Kylie, I'm being dumb. I told you that already. Okay, there is the Kylie, and here is the Kylie lip pencil that goes right with it. Absolutely beautiful, very long lasting lip pencils. And the Kylie lipstick is a little more peachy, but then it has a little bit more of a brown in the lip liner, but I think it is very pretty. And when you go in Ulta and you see her in it, you will just think, oh, she's beautiful. And of course her lips are fabulous. So I really love those Kylie products. And if you want some va va voom and a color that really sticks out and looks great, personally, I think the Josie is the color for you. Okay, now I'm going to be trying on the next few colors for you because I really just want to show them to you. This is an Ilia lipstick and it is in a fabulous color. And what is it called? It is called Rose Rosette. It's called Rosette. And I'll go ahead and take off my lipstick. This is always so dangerous just to do this on camera because obviously I won't have lip liner on. But look at that. Absolutely a perfect little rosy nude. Your lips but better. And here we go. And it is an absolutely beautiful cream formula that just sits beautifully on your lips. It wears a good long time. It has a little bit of gloss, but not too much. Absolutely beautiful. And I've been pairing this with one of my favorite lip liners of all time. And these are actually the BK Beauty lip liners. And Lisa J is the one who started this brand and she's amazing. And BK Beauty, BK stands for Be Kind. And I know from personal experience how kind Lisa is. She's amazing. And I love all of these lip liners and they're all very usable. But the one I use the most of, I would say, is Sweet Pea. And so Sweet Pea is kind of a natural rosy nude. And I think it would look very good with this, with this Ilia Rosette color. So go ahead and put it on here. Here we go. Isn't that beautiful? And so that just gives you the perfect little lip line out there. And I like this because it is not a point. It just is a nice little oval that makes your lip liner glide on just absolutely perfectly. Truly love that. Then I've been loving these Fenty Beauty glosses. And I've got two of them here. They are fabulous. They are phenomenal. These are the gloss bombs. They're very, very popular products. And again, I've got to get the peepers on. But one gloss balm is in the color Fussy, which is a pink kind of shimmery lip gloss. And the second color is Fenty Glow. And let me see which I think would look better. I think actually the Fenty Glow might look really good on this Ilia Rosette. We'll go ahead and use that. But absolutely a beautiful little high-end lip gloss here. I just put it on the center of my lips, but isn't that pretty? It just gives you the faintest amount of shimmer, a little bit of gleam, a little bit of moisture to your lips. If you don't like a more matte looking lipstick, I really almost always add a lip gloss over the top of any lipstick, but I think that is absolutely beautiful. And I'm going to save this one fussy because I'll try another lip color on for you and we'll go ahead and use the fussy. I'll go ahead and take this off. There we go. And this is another of my all time favorites and I've gotten two tubes of this already. And there's the second tube. I'm gonna go have to buy another one. I hate it when I like something. I have tons of stuff over there I don't really like that much. I have complete bullets left of those, but the ones I like, of course, get worn down. But this is the MAC lipstick in the color you wouldn't get it, and I've worn it in a lot of videos, and you always ask, what lipstick are you wearing? And it's mostly always this. Isn't that beautiful? I saw this one day when I was in Dillard's about a year ago, and the lady behind the MAC counter had the most beautiful lips, and I said, what color is that? And she said, it is a color called You Wouldn't Get It. And she said, everybody asks about it. And whenever I wear this in videos, like I mentioned, you all ask about it because it is an absolutely gorgeous color. Absolutely love that color. It is, again, a rosier nude color. I think it's very close to being a nude, a dark nude, but it does have that beautiful rose with it. Now I'm going to go ahead and choose one of these lip liners to go with it. And I'll go ahead and choose this one, which is called Pink Lady. And here Pink Lady is absolutely a beautiful little color. I'll go ahead and draw it on for you. 
just a beautiful rosy pink. And again, it has that little oval tip. I don't like lip lines which are very obvious. I like it just to be, hold on, let me do this. I like a lip line that looks just like your lipstick has a nice sharp line, not necessarily that you have, you know, like a brown lip liner with the lipstick. I don't like that. But isn't that absolutely beautiful? That is that MAC, and you wouldn't get it, with the Pink Lady of the BK Beauty lip liners. And I'm going to go ahead and use the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the color Fussy because it's a little bit of a rose, just like this lipstick. Oh my, I love this one. Mmm, that is so gorgeous. Look at that. Just an absolutely beautiful combo. And I think if you wear this combination, people will come up to you too. Okay, I've taken off my lipstick again because I want to show you the BK Beauty lipsticks and they are absolutely beautiful. And I have all five of them, I'm embarrassed to admit, but they are truly lovely lipsticks. They're a cream formula with a little bit of gloss to them. They last a long time, beautiful colors. All of the colors, I'll show you the colors here. They're all kind of nudes, but they're your lips, but better. So they're darker nudes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my favorite color here, which is a color called Passion. And I'll go ahead and use that on my lips first. And look at that. That is an absolutely beautiful, kind of a dramatic, rosy pink color. And on those days when you want a little bit of drama, I think that color by itself is absolutely beautiful. But what I sometimes do is I layer these lipsticks. And so I'm going to take this color, and this one is called Kindness. And there you can see it there. It's got a little bit more of a peachy color to it rather than the rose. But we'll put it right on top. And what it will do is it basically ends up giving you the look like you have lip liner on when you really don't. And I think this passion color is very dramatic and adding the kindness color makes it more of a daytime color. A little more neutral, a little more kind of everyday, but still extremely pretty. Okay, let's go ahead and add a lip liner and let's get dramatic. And whenever I want that look of an external lip line, I always go to this color and this is called Warm Spice. And there it is. And as you can see, the, the tip of it, if I can get it there to show you, is a little bit of an oval. So it's very easy to apply. And as you can tell, that color Warm Spice just gives a definition to the outside of the lips, but it also makes it look like you have a definite lip line on that you're trying to go for that look of a lipstick and then a lovely little lip line around the outside. That Warm Spice is a spicy brown color, which is about the perfect color if you want to have that accented line around your lips. Now let's go ahead and pair this with a drugstore gloss. And let's see, which should I use? I think I'll use this more pink tone one. These are the NYX Butter Glosses and they are fabulous. I have a bunch of these and I pull them out all the time. It's kind of my go-to daily lip gloss because they're inexpensive. I think they're around $5 and I have Creme Brulee and Fortune Cookie here. And so I will go ahead and use the Creme Brulee because I've got a little rose tone going. Go ahead and put that on there. So that is how that looks, and it actually looks about like the lipstick. So let's go ahead and take the fortune cookie, which will give it a little bit of a contrast, and we'll put that on right in the middle there, just to plump out your lips. And these feel so buttery and soft on your lips, they're amazing. But yeah, I think I do like that better. I think I like that rosy toned lipstick and the spice brown kind of lip liner with this contrasting peachy toned lip gloss because it does really emphasize the center of your lips and just makes your lips look yummy and bigger. Now I have two more lip products to show you. One of them is a drugstore lip liner, which is truly one of my favorites. If you don't want to spend a bunch of money, these are the Milani understatement lip liners. And I guess I won't put these on, but I'll show two of them to you. This one is in my absolute favorite color. Where is it? It is called Nude Entrance, Nude Entrance, which I think that's a great name. Let me get rid of that lip liner there, but I'll just go ahead and draw it on there. That Nude Entrance there, is just kind of a darkish, warm, nude color. It is the perfect color for most lipsticks because I really believe that in many cases you should just try to match your lips. And this one is in the color, what is it? 
French rose, French rose. So this is a rosier version. I'll go ahead and put it right beside the nude entrance. So there you can see the rosy French rose. You can see the rosy French rose by the nude entrance. Really, really pretty colors. And these are certainly for women who don't like that exaggerated lip line because they really do blend in. That's why they're called understatement lip liners. Now, let me go ahead and take my lipstick off because I'm going to show you another lip product. And these are the Rare Beauty Lip Glosses. And they are absolutely beautiful. And I have them in three colors here. And this one seems a little odd to me. I have not tried this. I've worn these other two and I love them. Let me get that lip liner off my hands. I have worn these two, but I've never tried this one. And this is a very natural looking one. And this is in the color Nearly Neutral. So we'll just go ahead and try that. It seems like it might be a little brown. I'm not sure. I love the other two. There we go. You know, that's not bad at all. Actually, I, I really do like that. I think that's extremely pretty. It doesn't look as brown on your lips as it does in the little vial here. I think that is super pretty. Let me show you these other two. And I think I'll just go ahead and put them on. And I've been wearing these a lot. The first one is called Nearly Apricot. And that is a nice little peachy lip gloss. Isn't that pretty? I think that is absolutely beautiful. And actually, I've been wearing these a lot on a Saturday when I don't really want to wear lipstick. I'll just throw on one of these glosses. And this one I really like because it has kind of a rosy fuchsia look to it. It is in the color Nearly Rose. I guess that's why I said rosy. I'll go ahead and show that to you. And this is one of my favorites for sure. And you could wear this over lipsticks, of course, but I think on those days when you really don't want to wear lipstick and you just want to throw on some gloss to look like you really didn't care, but you just happen to look wonderful, this is an absolutely beautiful set of lip glosses. These are the Rare Beauty glosses, and I recommend them highly. Okay, my last lip product, and I have several of these, and I keep wanting to buy more of them because they are fabulous. These are the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Lipsticks. It's in their custom nudes line, and this is the color 930 Medium Warm, and I think it's just beautiful. And I wear these lipsticks a lot to work when I know that I won't want to apply lipstick for a long time because they really do last pretty much all day. Um, there's a trick to them, though. So isn't that pretty? That is an absolutely beautiful color. And again, that color is Warm Nude. Very, very pretty. I have another one in there and it's more of a more of an apricot color, but I think this warm nude is absolutely beautiful. And the thing is to make it permanent and to make it last all day, you have to let it dry down. Let me grab a piece of paper here and I'll dry it down because giving it enough time to dry to where it almost feels to where it almost feels dry on your lips. It almost feels like it's dry on your lips. You really need to give it that time to dry to make it last all day. But now I think it is dry. It feels a little bit tacky, a little bit like my lips are sticking together. And then you take the second layer, which is just a little moisture layer, a little clear moisture layer, and you just put it over the top. And that puts the moisture back in and all of a sudden your lips don't feel dry anymore. And it has just the slightest little bit of shine. And I think that is absolutely beautiful. In fact, let me run, grab the other color and I'll show you that one. And I really will buy more of these because they're fabulous. This one is the same formula in ripe peach. And I will just show you the color itself. Not the, not the gloss because all the glasses are exactly the same. But there is the ripe peach. And I'll go ahead and draw it on here. Look at that. Absolutely a beautiful peachy brown nude color. It's a little bit lighter than the medium warm that I have on. You can kind of see that next to my lips. I think the medium warm has a little bit more rose to it and that's why I really like it. But I really like both of these. They're absolutely beautiful. And if you're going to work and you really don't want to reapply lipstick, I really can't recommend these highly enough. They feel good on the lips, they look good, and they last a great long time. Okay, that was a look at my eye and lip favorites for 2021. It was so much fun finding them and I look forward to finding even better ones in 22, hopefully. And again, if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all the things that help us look and feel our best at any age, especially 50 and up, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and or give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that.
Okay, this video has gotten long, but I did want to leave you with two kind of makeup minute faves. And the first is these BK Beauty brushes. And I mentioned this in my last faves video, but I absolutely love them. I never was very good at makeup at all until I got these brushes. All of a sudden when I put any makeup product on, the colors just blend so much more beautifully. They look so much more natural. And for eye makeup, I especially love the Angie brushes because they're custom made for us more mature ladies with crinkly eyelids and with hooded lids and that kind of thing. They're smaller. They have a great little detailed brush here that helps get in the outer corner. Absolutely gorgeous. And a couple of the great things about the Angie brushes in particular are, number one, this fabulous blush brush and how she instructs you to apply the blush is to stay right up here to keep it high. Don't go down on the apples and you apply the blush and then rub it like that and then you turn the brush on its side, the little triangular brush, you turn it on its side and just buff that blush color into your skin. Absolutely beautiful. And my second favorite brush, or actually it is one of my favorites for sure, is the under eye concealer brush, which is soft as mink. It is wonderful. And it absolutely puts that concealer on under your eyes absolutely beautifully and you really don't have the problems with the fine lines and wrinkles, and it gives you beautiful coverage. It helps your under eye concealer last all day. I can't recommend these brushes highly enough. One last little bonus is you can look as beautiful as you want. You can have the right outfit on and the right makeup and a good hair day, but if you don't smell good, you haven't really added that last bit of magic to the experience of someone's being with you. And my absolute favorite perfumes continue to be the Jo Malone line of fragrances. They're natural fragrances, they're from England, and they're very, very pure. And I have the problem, my sister has the problem too. My sister and I both have the problem of perfume changing on us. It can smell great in the bottle, but you put it on us and all of a sudden, for me, it smells like stems, like green stems. It's the weirdest thing. And my sister says most perfumes bring out the animal smell in her, whatever that means, it doesn't sound good. But these Jo Malone fragrances are totally pure. Like this one is Wild Bluebell and it is a beautiful smell of wild bluebells. And this is the Orange Blossom Jo Malone fragrance. This used to be my favorite, and then I got this as a favorite, and now I combine them both. And the neat thing about them, they're kind of like the BK Beauty lipsticks. They are layerable. I'm going to put some of this on. Oh, I absolutely love that. That is like heaven in a bottle. That is the Wild Bluebell. And it can be mixed with the Orange Blossom, and I like to do that. Here we go. It's just a little citrusy smell. Oh my, that is, that is truly heaven. Now I will tell you, you will only like these if you like florals. If you're an exotic girl, you're not going to like these. I don't like exotics because they don't smell good on me, but these florals from Jo Malone are truly wonderful. And if you have fragrances you love, especially if they're florals, because I would love to know some more good florals out there, please leave a comment below the video. I would appreciate hearing about that. And if you have any great makeup products that you love, please share them below. We are a community of women here who come together to help each other look and feel their best. I can't wait to see you in my next video.